What's up, guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today, I'm going to be running through the new features of iOS 10 Beta 4 that was released today. I've got that installed on my iPhone 6 here on the right. And then I'm going to be doing a comparison of my iOS 10 Beta 4 device and my jailbroken iOS 9.3.3 device and let you guys know whether or not you should use the iOS 10 Beta or stay jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go through the iOS 10 Beta 4 features here with you guys and as promised. So the first new feature of iOS 10 Beta 4 is the new 100 emojis. Apple has been planning on releasing these, and as you guys can see, they actually look a little bit different. They've also added a lot more of the opposite gender, and many, many, many updates in the emojis. I love emojis. It's really, really awesome. And in iOS 10, you can even type a sentence and then go ahead and replace it with emojis, which is absolutely awesome in the text messaging. So good to see that Apple actually updated the emojis. You can also see that they look a little bit thicker, a little bit more shadowed, a little darker. Really just a new update in general for the emojis over here on iOS 10 Beta 4. They've also added in some new keyboard sounds. When you go to type, it actually has a different sound for the space bar, the backspace bar, and the return bar. If you go ahead and listen... Just adds a little bit of variety to your text messaging and your typing. I don't know if you guys could even hear that, but it sounds a little different each time you press the spacebar, backspace button, and the keys themselves. Animations, 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 guys. First off, they've actually changed folder animations. It opens a lot quicker than it did on iOS 10 Beta 3. And outside of that, you can even close an application mid-animation. To show you guys what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and open the Notes app and then click it halfway. As you guys can see, you don't have to wait for the application to open fully to exit it. Next up, they have added a new control center splash screen page. So if you scroll up from the bottom here, you can see that new page and it says iPhone controls now playing and home. Each have their own cards. Swipe to see each one. So this makes us believe that there is going to be more than two pages in the control center when we actually get the final iOS 10 release later this fall. Something that doesn't make too much sense to me is that they have removed a lot of the old wallpapers on iOS 10 beta 4. If you go into settings and scroll through, you'll see that they removed a lot of the iOS 9 wallpapers I don't know why that is, but that's a new update. If you swipe down to get into the notification center and then swipe left, you will see the date above all of the widgets. This is something that they did remove, but now it's back, so that's great to see. And lastly, they have added some minor UI tweaks. In the accessibility features, you will be now able to add new color filters for those who cannot see all of the colors and are colorblind. You can actually tweak the device to fit your needs more fully. So those were some of the biggest updates in iOS 10 Beta 4. And now to let you guys know my opinion on the iOS 10 Beta of force firmware and whether or not you should stay on iOS 9.3.3 while jailbroken. So just to show you guys here my iOS 9.3.3 device while jailbroken, I really don't have too much installed. I have a nice little theme here and I have Anemone installed on my device. So what this basically allows you to do is theme your entire device. It's basically like Winterboard from back in the day, but you can change the icons, you can change the dock, you can change the reflection in the dock. So I've got the dock with reflection here and I actually have a theme installed that I will have linked down there in the description in case you guys want to download this from Cydia. I've also got a bunch of jailbreak applications. As you can see, I have Cydia itself. I have the jailbreak app itself. I have Airshow. I have Hacks installed for Pokemon Go. And I have Anemone, as I said before. Indigo Hub and Zestia also allow you to install some jailbreak apps, which you can install on iOS 10. I'll be doing a separate video on that, however. So ultimately, what do I think you guys should do? Well, I actually like being on the iOS 9.3.3 firmware while jailbroken. The iOS 9.3.3 firmware allows me to have all of the security features that Apple has included with their updates, as well as hacks and new applications. Cydia just allows you to do everything you could possibly imagine with your device. iOS 10 is still great. I really like the idea of iOS 10. However, the features of a jailbreak really outweigh the features of iOS 10 for me. When we did not have a jailbreak, I did want to update to iOS 10, which I did shortly, but now I have downgraded to keep my jailbreak on iOS 9.3.3. But I recommend installing iOS 10 on a separate device if you have one laying around. So essentially my recommendation is to stay on iOS 9.3.3 and install iOS 10 on a separate device. I have guides down there on how to do both. You can jailbreak your device using those guides down in the description. You can also upgrade to iOS 10 for free right now using the links in the description as well. I will be doing another video on how to install jailbreak.
jailbreak apps on iOS 10 without jailbreaking. In the meantime, as you guys can see, I actually have some installed right there on my device. I have Airshow, Indigo Hub, Zestia, and iOS Emus. So I'll be doing a guide on how to install all of those good jailbreak apps without jailbreaking on iOS 10 in the next couple days. So stick around for that and subscribe. And I've also got some pretty cool jailbreak tutorials on iOS 9.3.3 planned for you guys. So stick around for those as well. And be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up so you don't miss those. I've also got links down there in the description for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free, so check those out. And be sure to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and website pages down in the description. Those are great ways to follow me. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Stay awesome. Peace.